Nico, before we talk about this weekend's game against Northampton, just your final reflections on Tuesday night. We saw at the end you and Gary celebrating together with, with a nice embrace. And I think that probably sums up how both of you were feeling. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a great night. It was a, an excellent performance. The players all went out and did their job, whether they were starting or whether they were finishing. The atmosphere was incredible. The result was just what we wanted. Um, a lot of work goes into planning those things and it, it was fantastic. And I hope that the certainly the Exeter fans are still riding that wave this week. But, but for us, we're, we're on to Northampton. Um, the players have been debriefed. You want them to enjoy the feeling of winning. They put a lot of work into every game to do that. So you don't want to shift them on too quick. But as soon as that game finished and, and you get in the changing room and you come down from the euphoria, for me, it's straight on to what do we need to do to make sure they're physically ready to go and perform on Saturday. For the manager, it's going to be, right, tactically, I need to go and watch Northampton now and have a look at, at what that's going to be. Um, you know, Everybody has their role. Perks will be around them now, making sure that they're up and they're lifted, because sometimes after a, a big result, there can be a bit of a come down and we can't afford that. We're, we'll be ready, we'll be prepared, and we'll be uh, understanding of what we need to do to, to beat Northampton. Gary explained um, that there was good news with Ryan Trevor, but Caleb came off. Do you know any more from Tuesday night about how he is? It's nothing major. Um, I, I'm not sure it, about Saturday, but it's certainly um, not going to be a massive problem. And, and I think generally speaking, we're feeling that we're moving in the right direction with these lads coming back from the little knocks and niggles that they've had. Um, some of the longer term guys are getting closer. There's, there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel in, in that stuff. but. The boys that are fit and the boys that are ready, they're getting uh, everything that they need to, to go and give Northampton a good game. We saw Jack Aitchison as part of the warm-up on Tuesday night. Would that suggest that he, he's ready for selection for Saturday? It might do. <laughs> or it might not. You never know. <laughs> um, and, and Admiral Musgrave, is he, is he far away? Um, again, Ad, Addy's been putting in the work. He's come over from Luton. Um, from a position where he's kind of training in between groups. He's, he's not going to be fully match fit. I thought he contributed really well when he came on against Burton, picked up a little niggle um, just after that, and we just need to make sure that we don't rush him in too soon and lose him for longer, but he's, he's not far off. We know that Demi's obviously suspended for one game following his red card. Um, in a way, he's someone who's played a lot of football and there was the discussion about managing players' fitness. Is this perhaps... An important rest if we were to spin a positive on that for Demi? I would I would look at it completely the other way. It's an opportunity for the next person in to, to show that they should be playing and starting and that Demi's gonna have to fight his way back in. Um, you know, the boys have done an incredible job at um, understanding that at Exeter it's not just about a starting eleven, it's about the guys that start the game and it's the the guys that finish it. We call them finishers. They're, they're there for specific reasons. They're there to make sure they come on and see the game out. I think Tuesday, Sweens would have been the example of somebody that I'm sure was disappointed not to start, but the way he was in the changing room, the way he spoke to the players, he did the pre-game talk, he warmed up properly, he came and helped me warm up the defenders. He did everything that you would expect from a leader. And then when he came on the pitch, he did everything that you would expect from a finisher to make sure that we got a positive result. He came on at nil-nil, we score the goal, he sees the game out defending like I'd expect somebody to defend in that situation. So um, that's a great example from one of our senior players and a leader in the group. And I think there were others, people like Reese Cole, that was probably called upon earlier than we were hoping for with Caleb going off. He was disappointed not to start, but he was ready to finish. And, and that's a massive part of how we're going to be successful. I just want to talk about the impact of Zach Jules. He was probably arguably one of the best performers at Oxford. And then on Tuesday night, another outstanding performance from Zach. I think he really showed his versatility in these last two games. How much of an important player is he for you? He is. And he's another guy who understands his role and he understands the benefit that that brings to others. So somebody like Dimmy will get headlines for going past players, putting crosses in the box, scoring goals, and that's his job. Zach's job is to make sure that Dimmy can do that with a defensive base behind him that allows him freedom to, to go and express himself. The same with the other attacking players. Zach's discipline, tactical awareness, knowledge of his role, even though it's not necessarily the, the natural position for him, I think he's been invaluable for the team. And he's come in and he's done that, even when he wasn't maybe getting plaudits himself. He's done that unnoticed for the, the betterment of everybody else. 
it's great that you're asking questions about him now. He's obviously doing something well, but I'm sure for him it's about the team winning and it's not about individual glory. Players have often had to step up into unfamiliar positions this season, given the injuries that we've had. Do you think that competition for places is, is part of the, what's driving these players to be so successful at the moment? Yeah, and, and that, that, that's the beauty of football for me, is that you've got... You've got the chemistry of team spirit and the understanding that we're all in this together. You've got the individuals that are fighting it out to try and make sure that they start games because everybody wants to be a starter. But you've also got an understanding in the group that the finishers are as if not more important than the guys that start. Now that's, that's rare and it's difficult to get because traditionally in football you start and you're a sub. And, and that is a bit too blunt, it's a bit too old school and it's not how we're going to be successful over the period of what's now going to be at least 50 games. Um, during a season. We have to have guys that are ready to start, we have to have guys who understand the importance of finishing and we have to have guys that understand their role and others because they might be asked to do that. Um, the lads have got a lot that they need to improve on, they've got a lot that they need to get better at and, and so have we as coaching staff making sure that we put them in the best position to do that. We've all made mistakes this season, we've messed up a few times but generally speaking they're getting things right, we're getting better and, and hopefully that will continue through the season. Let's talk about Northampton. What are you expecting from them? A really tough game. You know, they've they've come into this league on a high. They've carried on through it in a in a positive fashion. They've picked up a couple of good results. They're not um, an easy nut to crack. They've got some good individual players, and they're quite um, well established in how they play. So, from our point of view, we've got to try and spot the areas that we think we can exploit. We've got to make sure that we stand up to the physical kind of challenge that they're going to bring and their threats. And then we've got to go out and try and get SJP rocking again as it has been recently. You, you mentioned the support there. I think there's, there's no question that when we're playing well, the, the big bank and, and the, they're so vocal. It, it does seem to just lift the whole place and, and lift the players as well. Mm, I think, I mean, the big bank gets a, a lot of press and it's an incredible um, stand and it's an incredible uh, atmosphere that it generates but I, I felt that from from all sides of the stadium you know the uh, I think people are seeing what we're trying to do I think they see that we understand the football club the requirements on and off the pitch um, and it's amazing standing there in front of all those people at the end of a game and enjoying that win but I want all the fans no matter where you stood or no matter where you sat to enjoy that to know that they're appreciated to know that we we notice it I mean Whenever you're asked about the fans at any football club, you always say they're great, even if you've been getting a load of stick. But as certainly understand who we are, what we're trying, and they're right behind it. And, um, and, and we're right behind them. We want those experiences. We want it to be 50 games, one game at a time that they turn up and they know that we're giving everything, even if we don't get the result quite right. And they've made such a fantastic effort for us, haven't they? The display on the Big Bank on Tuesday. But we had the, the surfer flag in the Adam Stansfield stand as well. When the players are walking straight out, it, it's almost a case of, you know, look at the effort they've gone through for us. We need to really and make it, an effort for them. And it's noticed. I think that's the thing. You, you, on match day, you, you're zoned in, you're ready for what's coming. You, you're thinking about the most important thing, which is the lads out on the pitch and what you can do as a, as a coach or whatever your role is to help those players. But it's noticed. You, you come in, you know, I, I go out early and set up. You see people milling around early, ready to do what they want to do. Um, you, you notice the support and you notice how much they enjoy being a part of it. And when people invest in those kind of things, it's important that they know that, that we see it.